This is Jake Delano back with another Onshape tech tip. With Onshape's document structure, you can either create projects in a single document or split them into multiple linked documents. This video will cover a few factors to consider when choosing the best structure for your document. As best practice, your Onshape document should always contain less than 40 tabs. If you know that your document will go over this limit, like this machine design that has all its components in a single document, consider splitting your components into multiple documents. This can either be planned out ahead of time or by moving tabs into a new document if you think of this after the fact. A popular way of structuring split documents for a larger design is to have a document for each subassembly component. For instance, the different subassemblies of this packaging machine all have their own documents. Each subassembly document will contain the parts, assemblies, drawings, and related materials that are specific to that portion of that machine. These are then linked to a top-level assembly to maintain Onshape best practices for tab management. A second thing to consider is if you need live updates to your document or not. For example, this conveyor system as a whole was considered to be in a mature state, so it was linked into multiple different designs at a static state with a version. If I need to make some changes to it, I can go into the conveyor's document and edit the part studio inside of here. Since the assembly for the conveyor lives in this document, these updates will happen in real time. However, any changes that I make in the conveyor document will require an update to that version that's linked in a higher level design. This is something to consider to make sure you're getting all the proper updates when structuring your document. Additionally, linked documents also give you a robust way to reuse components inside your Onshape library. For commonly reused components, keep them in their own documents. This way, they can be kept in a shared library folder and easily located, linked, and used in multiple designs at a specific version by all people who have access to this folder. These are just a few things to consider about why you'd want to split designs into multiple documents. For more best practices, check out the associated blog for this tech tip. There you'll find the link to the best practices for managing data in an Onshape document technical briefing. Thank you for watching.